All right, our next example is to go ahead and find just a bunch of stuff. Okay. So we are going to find the center. We will find the vertices. We will find the foci. And we will find asymptotes. All right, and so the problem we're going to do for this one is x plus 8 squared over 4 minus y plus 6 squared over 25 equals 1. All right, so let's start with the easy one, the center, because that's just like in the equation for us. Okay, so uh, this time make sure you go to the x first. So I have x plus 8, so that means my center is going to be at a negative 8. I have y plus 6, so that means it's going to be at a negative 6. And I hope you notice right now, ooh, I'm starting with an x, so that means my, um, if I'm going to sketch a graph real quick, this means this dude's going to go this way. It's going to go left and right, and then you have some asymptotes through it. All right, so we found our center. It's at negative 8, negative 6, so that's this point right here. All right, so to find the vertices, all we want to do is go this way to find that vertex and that way to find that vertex, okay? So if I'm going to left and right distance, I'm looking underneath my x. I have 4, but really that's just 2 squared. So we are going to go left and right 2. So for my vertices, I'm going to start at negative 8 and go left 2. So if I go back 2 on my number line, I'd get 2 negative 10, negative 6, and then I want to go right 2, okay, and so that would actually end up at negative 6, negative 6. Okay, so remember your y value is staying the same when it's a left and a right one, okay, because you're just moving left and right, you're not going up or down at all. All right, the next one, the foci, so that's a little bit weirder, because the foci are in here, right, so we need to actually find our c value. Okay, and so remember our c value this time is just literally straight up the Pythagorean theorem because it is the positive a squared plus b squared. All right, remember your a goes with your x, your b goes with your y. So we're going to have c squared equals, well, I know it's 2 squared, it'll end up being 4. This is not really, uh, b is not 25, it's 5, and but 5 squared is still 25. So I have 4 plus uh, 25, which is 29. I'm going to go ahead and square root it, so c is going to be plus or minus the square root of 29. So I'm going to take this guy right here, I'm going to go back and forward that big mess, okay? So my foci is going to be negative 8 uh, minus square root of 29 comma negative 6 and negative 8 plus the square root of 29 comma negative 6. Do you remember if it's a square root that you can't simplify, you can't combine it with the whole number, you just write out that expression right there. All right, and so I hope we're doing okay so far. It's not too bad, hopefully. All right, and so the last thing are the actual asymptotes. Okay, and so for us, we're gonna just go ahead, remember that they start at our center and we rise up and over and you gotta rise back and to the left. Okay, and so we gotta do both of them. So I'm gonna start with this first one. My rise up is, remember your y, and so underneath my y is gonna be five. So I have y equals five over. My run to the right would be two. And then I'm gonna do my center, because that's where I'm starting. So I have my x, okay, minus, uh, actually, sorry, x plus eight. And then we want to go, we want to start. So I'm going to go x plus 8, right? Because I'm going to get to 8. Because inside is opposite, but outside is what it is. So minus 6. All right, we're not going to leave it like that, though. We're actually going to write it in y equals mx plus b form. Do be aware that the only difference from the other one is negative 5 halves x plus 8 minus 6. Right? Okay, because one's negative and one is positive. So they do want these in y equals mx plus b form. So you got to go ahead and distribute. So y is 5 half x. Uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4, times it by 5, I get 20 minus 6, so y is 5 over half x, 20 minus 6 is plus 14. So that is one equation. Over here it's going to be slightly different though, because I will have that negative 5 half x, but this, instead of being a plus 20, this time is going to be a minus 20 minus 6, so instead of being a positive 14, we are going to end up at a negative 26. All right, I hope that makes sense.
Okay. Um, if it doesn't, Alex does show a different method. Go ahead and use it. It's, I think, a few more longer steps, but it's bringing back more of your algebra. Uh, it's bringing back uh, point-slope equations and all of that. All right. Hope you're doing okay.